Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in the channel Farm Life with Nancy. I'm Nancy. So on the agenda for today, good morning Mr. Turkey. <laughs> That's not on the agenda. <laughs> That's just bad timing. So anyway, on the agenda today, Derek just left. He is going to be hauling hay, so it's hay day. Um, yeah, so farmers are starting to cut. We're starting to gear up for the winter months. Well, obviously we gotta keep eating the summer months, but this is where we start to accumulate. Anyway, so he's off to do that. And uh, I don't know where everyone is from, and I'm not sure what your hay prices are, but ours has gone through the roof. Like it's, it's not even okay anymore. Like it's, it's like 120 a bale, 100, some people are charging 150. And uh, that's some of the big squares and the big rounds, but even the smaller, like not smaller, but like the four by four, four by five are still $100 a bale. So I realize that COVID has changed a lot of the prices, but this is ridiculous. Like it's making it next to impossible for us farmers, hobby farmers to survive. Um, yeah, it's eh. Anyways, there's no point in me complaining about it. I cannot change it. Um, I'm hoping that at some point it will drop, but I doubt it because now the farmers are going to be used to getting that extra money. So they're not going to drop it down. It just means that I might have to start shopping uh, further out of town. I might have to go help other farmers because or or I'm going to have to really put in the effort with Derek and just say forget at the off grid. We're not going to start building a barn yet and all that and fencing um we're just gonna go right ahead and just do hay fields just start clear cutting and just scrape that and just just start hay fields you know what i think that's probably our best uh option because things are definitely not getting better in the hay pricing department so anyway so before i continue with on what's the on the agenda because derek is already gone that's number one is the smoke in the air the smell of fire is all around us. It's very intense today. So anybody who has asthma would have a hard time today. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's really not good at all. Like not even, not even close anyway. So yeah. So over here, as you can see, this is where the cows were. So we are going to have cows again. We're just uh, probably going to gear up a little bit later. But I'm considering putting the sheeps in here because uh, we need this all uh, chewed up. We do. Yeah. All right. To the agenda. I don't know if you can see. But look at this smoke back there. Like... It is very smoky, very hazy. This is for anyone that's got breathing problems. That will be tough on them. All right, agenda. So when Derek gets back, well, obviously we have to unload the hay. So that's job number two. And then after that, um, we are going to take the tractor cab off the trailer now, I don't think we're gonna have time to put it on, install today, but at least it'll be next to the tractor and it'll be ready. Ready, ready. So that is the next job. And then of course, water for the horses, cause it's been nothing but dry. I mean, they are calling rain. It was supposed to rain all day today. It got moved over now till tonight, tomorrow. We need the rain, like desperately. So. So that's that for that. And so tractor cab will be off. I got to clean the stock tanks. Hopefully I can get one or two in. Hopefully. All right, so now I'm gonna get things uh, organized, get things started and wait for Derek to come back with the hay. We'll see you in a bit. Look how dry that is. I 
the grass is basically burnt here. Rain, we need rain. Before we unload the hay, I thought I'd give everyone an update on Mr. Turkey. He is still with us and he is doing wonderful. All right, so Derek is back with the hay. We are going to unload it and then we will move on to the next job. What's that, Rosianna? What? What's that? Oh, oh, you want some cuddles. Oh, all right then. There we go. Yeah, where are you? Look, you're all muddy. Who knows? So I, as you just noticed, Derek is using the little tractor, little Yanmar. The 4010 John Deere, something is broken on it. Well, it's the joys of having an older tractor. They, uh, they break, but uh, Derek will fix it. But right now, because we need to get the trailer unloaded, we went to little reliable, good little tractor. He's gonna get it done. And then, uh, then we're moving on to The cab that's next so yes yeah, so i'm gonna let derek finish that up and i'm gonna go back with the horses and then as soon as he's gonna unload that we'll we'll come back for it All right, so he just said look out because he's just going to lift the trailer. You just want it to slide just a little bit? What? You just want it to slide just a little bit? Yeah. Should I be helping? No. I guess it's heavier than it was. I guess that worked. I guess that worked. All right, so you're gonna grab the skid steer. Yeah. So 
The goal is to not smash it. Not smash it. Oh my gosh, that's not funny. <laughs> yeah, not not smashing. So you're just gonna grab the skid steer with the you said the hay forks. No, I got the, with the pallet fork. The pallet branches. fork. Oh, okay. And hopefully that'll just pick it up. Yeah, I'm hoping. Hoping. All right. Well. Tom, okay, well, we'll see. We'll see. Fun, fun. Fun, fun. I love it when uh, he comes up with these new ideas. He's like, oh, just let it slide. Oh, I'm the one that's always scared. I'm always, I'm the worry ward. He's not. He does this all the time, but I'm just the one that's more of a. More of a. Well. See here, you fell. I dropped the phone. Oops, a daisy. As I'm saying, I'm the one that's a worry wart because things happen, and then my phone, poof, pops out. shelter forest trailer that still needs to get fixed and just like that it's here it's next to the tractor it's exciting it really is I can't wait all right so when do you think you'll be able to get the cab on I don't know I don't know <laughs> I don't know. We're, that's the closest right now. That's the closest we're going to get. Not, All right. No. <laughs> I know I was trying to, uh, on the last video, I zoomed in on the company that made it, and I was yeah. supposed to uh, do a little bit of research. So maybe yeah. on the next video, when we actually put the cab on, maybe we'll have the information on it. Yeah. If perfect. you know about it, leave me a comment, and that would it'll save me a little bit of time. Yeah. Prairie cab. Prairie cab, yeah. So I'm assuming Saskatchewan. I think that's what it said, eh? Does it say Saskatchewan? Oh, Winkler, Manitoba. Oh, Manitoba. Oh, oh, yeah. nice. Perfect. I actually get to look more inside now. Mm -hmm. So there's no AC. Oh. It's not AC. It's not AC, but there's a fan. Yeah. Oh, look, a hole for a stereo. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
It had air. It had air? Yeah. Well, it's on that yeah. side. All right, I'll have to go on the other side. I have to admit, this here is nice. It's a nice look. Is that going to stay on there? No. no. That's just before we, you put the glass back on. So yeah, that's... No, they put those on just so they wouldn't fly open. Oh, oh, just for the trip. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, got it, got it. Well, that's a real nice look. I guess you might as well leave them on until you have it. No, no? okay. What do I know? Oh, there's all the fancy buttons on this side. Look at all the stuff. Well, it's going to be fun when it's up on there. It's going to look good. It's going to look good. I can't wait. Nice. So we do have the glass for it. It's just safe right now in the garage. Does the door open? Yeah. Oh, there. Nice. So normally they do come with stairs, but clearly this one does not, or no, no. did, or we didn't get them. We'll have to see how it matches up with the one on the property. Right. Huh? I guess, worst case scenario, you can always do wooden ones or figure something out, weld something up. Yeah. All right, so, can you picture it? I can. It's gonna look nice. It's gonna look real nice, I'm so excited. All right, so, another little job done. They all end up coming together, just one at a time. So at least the cab is next to the tractor. So when he's ready to take on that project, it will get done. And yes, I will videotape it because the excitement is real. It's gonna be fantastic to just be able to be on the tractor out of the element. And it's just gonna look darn cool. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna call it quits for today. Um, it's getting really hot now. I gotta go inside and uh, get all the horse feed ready and feed everyone and then make dinner, the usual. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. And as always, thanks for tuning in the channel. And if you're a new subscriber, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you've been with me for a while, thanks for tuning in again. Yeah, that's it. Take care everyone and we'll catch you on the next one.